A Syria delegation has participated in a preparatory Arab League meeting ahead of the summit. Qatar's Minister of Awqaf met with Saudi officials to discuss arrangements for the upcoming Hajj season. Meanwhile, free entry to all museums in Qatar. Stick around for more. And finally, could Qatar be hosting yet another sports championship? Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Syria participated in a preparatory Arab League meeting in Saudi Arabia on Wednesday ahead of the summit this Friday. The meeting was attended by envoys and foreign ministers of the 22-member bloc. Syria's President Bashar al-Assad is expected to be in attendance for the first time in more than a decade in the meeting dubbed as the Summit Renewal and Change. His membership was rescinded by the bloc in 2011 for committing crimes against humanity. Qatar's Minister of Awqaf Ghanim bin Shaheen al Ghanim met with Saudi Arabia's Minister of Hajj in Doha to discuss arrangements for for the upcoming pilgrimage. The meeting comes ahead of the annual Hajj season, which is expected to begin on 26 June. Last week, Awqaf announced an official list of 18 accredited tour operators for the upcoming 2023 season on its website. Now, International Museum Day is upon us, which means museum lovers get free access to all museums and exhibitions in Qatar. Starting from the 18th of May and spanning for three days, museum enthusiasts can visit any and all museums around the Gulf state, experiencing this year's theme of sustainability and well-being. And finally, Qatar has emerged as a potential host of the upcoming 2025 Rugby League World Cup. The International Rugby League said that they've received interest from the Gulf state, as well as a number of different countries to host the tournament. France, one of the favorites to host the event, unexpectedly withdrew its hosting bid on Monday. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.